Hello everyone, Georgia is here. Today, I'm gonna make 3D art looks like this. Alright, as you see, we have uh, some people, we have some building, we have some uh, like plan for the desert. Will be desert here, so will be uh, looks like so hot day, like like hot scene here. And in here, on the building here, will be some light which is will be have some reflection from here and also from this side too and as you see if you see from the camera and will be have some reflection on this side all right so yeah if you want to have file exactly like this you can join to be my patron patreon.com slash georgia and also you can buy this one on gumroad gumroad.com slash studio georgia and also you can visit my website with my friend i have a few painting 3d art and also photography in there and yeah you can visit my website too forget some inspiration or motivation maybe but yeah i hope it's useful for you guys who learn about blender and also yeah you can visit my website seeher.eu and also i will put some link on the description and now how i make this one so let's get continue to the tutorial video go to file new and general as you know i will delete this and this one and i will keep it this uh cube as i just grab it a little bit like not really long i think something like that and then as z and then make it look thin like this and after that i will uh add some array so just go to modifier and then add array all right add something like that and just like 1.01 .01, something like that and make it like i think five uh five is it uh better and then something like this and after that i will duplicate this so just uh make it zero for x vector and then for y make it like something like 1.3 or maybe something like that all right something like this and then after that sy and grab it a little bit like this as you know um as you see we will uh, make it like a little bit like something like that it's better so for now i will add another array so just zip d and we already duplicate so but now we'll make it zero for this one and then make it one um i think two thousand for this one it's too far i think so okay something like this is it um enough so i will make it like um like 30 will be like this and but i think i will make a little bit like that all right and now grab it to this side it will be something like this make it up a little bit like that all right now it looks better and um see from this side and make it this into this middle here all right so now after this we will uh move into the modifier and choose wireframe and after that um just using even if even so now just like zero zero uh nine something like that and here will be around twenty thousand i don't know if it's uh better or not uh, i think it's uh something like this it's uh too big or not but all right i think i will bring down a little bit like six or yeah six it's better all right now we will add another cube or maybe just like this all right i think we will using this one so just duplicate after duplicate i will not using all of this so i think it's better to using um like the new cube but i think it's just something like that so just bring up a little bit and put it on the upper side <clears throat> and using like this 
and grab it and put in here all right now just as z grab it into down here something like that and after that i will duplicate both of this just zip d and r x 1 and 80. now just grab it here and then put into the middle and grab it into the up and we will duplicate using this one all right now we have something interesting just as z and put in up here something like that i think something like this and now we will using some wireframe just click tab uh sorry duplicate this one first and just hide for that one and then now we will using this one as x just um sorry s y something like uh like slim cube something like that all right something like this and put in the middle of this in front of the camera and will be have like these things here all right now just s z grab it down and something like that i think all right now just go to the add modifier add some ray and see from the uh front of this i think we will play here i just add one all right i think is it still really too big it's too much which is i think i will just make it like a bit like this and grab it into this side something like that all right i think like we'll see now okay and just okay and don't forget to add another array which is we will add to this behind here so just make it like uh 2000 i think okay it's not 2000 so we will using like 6000 Oh, we have to need some like minus. All right, something like that. Just doing like this. So after this, duplicate this one. Make it zero and then using like 2000. But all right, I think we need add it like minus. Something like this. And just grab it into the up little bit. Bring down a little bit. All right, something like that. And now bring back the, the cube back here. All right, now we already doing that and just add some wireframe and boom, we'll be like this. It looks interesting than we thought. <laughs> okay, so but yeah, by the way, it's just simple like building or something like that. And by the way, I got this interaction uh, by Bolek 3D and you can find it on Instagram. And yeah, and also you can check him on Instagram or Behance. His work is really beautiful and also I really like his art. So yeah, you can check his inter his Instagram link on description also. You can see him and but yeah. And now let's get continue to the tutorial video. So now go to the settings. I'm not using this one as you know. And so yeah, we will choose this one, add some color ramp. and add some noise texture connect fact into the fact okay i click something and then vernoy put vernoy here and then must grab
Moose grab will be here. And connect color into the vector, connect edge into the vector. And using this, just cherry shape. Control T. And we will using object. All right, and now we will connect color into the best color. Something like that. Wait a few seconds. And now change this, this into Christensen Burley and Multi Scatter GGX. Will be like that. All right, now just wait a few seconds and we'll see if it's something different than we thought. Okay, and I think it's more interesting. I will make it this 4D. All right, and now we will add, uh, change it the color here. Will be like a little bit dark, something like that. And then for this one, we'll be bring bring you something like that. All right, now we will bring up the metallic and bring them roughness, something like that. All right, this looks interesting than before. And I think it's too much for this one, so just like uh, using something bigger, like something like this, or like something like this, it's enough. And for detail, I will just using like 5, and for this detail, just using like 10. And now, we have something more interesting here. Alright, we will um, add some color ramp. After add color ramp, um, I will duplicate this one first. Bring to this side and bring this one here into this side also. And connect this fact into this fact. Alright, something like that. And also this one. And after that, shift A, add some bump. I don't know why I really like to using bump and then color I'm with bump. It's also really beautiful. Just my thought, okay? <laughs> so just connect uh, color into the edge and then normal into the normal and duplicate this one. Connect normal into the normal and then color ramp into the uh, this color ramp into the edge, something like that, and normal into the normal. Oh, wait, it's something leaking. All right, now it uh, looks better, and yeah, I do like this. I will save this file first for make sure this file is safe, and then so we have to carefully when make it this one. Alright, now uh, let's get continue to the tutorial video. After that, uh, we will see something different here, which is we will see and um, for this really beautiful as you thought. And just change this to the cycle and using GPUP have it. By the way, just change it this one into 64. And this one just 100. Alright, now go to the light. We will using a uh, sky texture and Nisita. So just using like 0 0.1. And here will be boom. This really beautiful. All right. And now just add some plan. And then after that, just grab it, make it this bigger. But I think I will make it this little bit small like that. This one make it bigger, something like this. Alright, and now click tab and zip uh, subdivide. And after this, I will just using like 70. Alright, after 70, we will just, uh, I think it's too big or something like that. It's better, alright. And now add a modifier, subdivision surface, this place. For the strain, just using like 0.1. All right, we will like this. And now add new, go to this one, and don't forget to choose Voronoi. We'll be like this. Interesting, right? So now set is smooth. I will using another uh, area option, just vertical split. But I forget to add camera, so I have to add some camera first. All right, we'll grab it here. I think. We will just using in this side, so something like that. 
Alright, something like this here. So just hit A, F camera, click N, view, and then just grab it back here in here. So we will just using focal length it a little bit far away, something like that. Something like this. Alright, so now let's get duplicate this cube. This one. Alright, and now I will hide this one first and choose this one choose all of this all of this sorry so now just duplicate all of this and by the way we will bring up this plane again and then see front of the camera all right something like that it's more uh yeah good maybe <laughs> so but for me it's uh interesting so yeah just zip a and then we will add some cube zip a and add some cube all right after that we'll see from the camera here and sz put in something like that go to the settings wow it's dark what happened here and by the way, delete this one, ship A, freeze vault, volume, choose this one, and connect volume into the volume, like that. And now bring down density, 0 0.001, so something like that. And we'll see, okay, is it, uh, I won't have something interesting like okay all right this one it's interesting than we thought and now back uh sorry before that don't forget to add this one i think just using like 0.7 and 20 something like that and for this one will be a um, little bit like this here so now back to the layout hide this one first and I will add like a people like people walking uh, where is that I think on this side so just like a army and then something like that like walking here and I will add another camera sorry before I was deleted about that so now back to the And we will add some light. Just hit A, light point, and put it in the center. Will be here, like that. All right, it's good. So now um, we'll be like this, and I think I will duplicate, add another light, and we will put in here. So we will have some reflection, like red or orange color. All right, where is that? Okay, just Alt D. Not don't using zip D but Alt D so you can control both of these. Which is if you if you click this one and then control uh, with this one will be have some same light as you will see here. Okay. And yeah, boom. It's like this. And here we will just using like something like that. But here will be like orange something like that it's good it's beautiful all right and now just this one so but we save this file first of course don't forget about that all right by the way um if you have some blender kit you can using this one and also i will use this one desert sun by uh, blender kit community so just using this and then just click this side here desert sun and just click Wait a few minutes uh, if your uh, connection is bad or 
not really good just wait a few minutes for downloading but usually it's really fast as you see before and so yeah it's something like that and and now i will join the area here and we will using here go to this one for the scene and then color management bring down none and change it into a very high contrast boom now it's different as you thought so yeah tutorial for today it's done if you want have file exactly like this you can join to be my patron patreon.com slash georgia and also you can buy this one on gumroad gumroad.com slash studio georgia please visit my website and my friend see here.eu and you can find a lot of my painting my photography and then with my friend and also a few 3d art so yeah i hope you like it by the way thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe georgia is here see you on the next video ciao